In this video, I will install and configure vCenter server appliance on ESXi 7.0 host in a GNS3 environment. But before we can install vCenter server appliance, we need to perform the following. Test the connectivity between DNS server and the ESXi host. Ensure the host records of vCenter appliance and the two ESXi hosts exist on the DNS server. And then, Configure 500 GB storage where vCenter server appliance will be installed. Note that ESXi 7.0 storage partition system have changed, which are System Boot, Boot Bank 0, Boot Bank 1, and ESX OS data composed of ROM data and RAM data. These partitions occupies the first 128 GB of your storage device. So BMFS data store is only created automatically if your boot storage is greater than 128 GB. You will see this at the end of this video showing no data store created because only 100 GB was allocated on my first hard drive. Log into the Windows DNS server, go to the DOS prompt, and ping ESXi70H1, IP address 192.168.1.31, and also the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Goodbye. Click on Tools, select DNS, and verify BCSA, ESXi70H1 and H2 exist under plaza.local domain. Log into the ESXi 70H1 and configure the 500GB VMFS storage. Go to the Windows folder and run the vCenter Server Appliance Installer and do as prompted. At the vCenter Server Deployment Target screen, ESXi host or vCenter server name, enter 192.168.1.31. HTTPS port 443, username root, and enter your password. And click Next. A 
by the setup vCenter server VM name and our VCSA. Then enter your root password and click next. In the select deployment size screen, in this case, click next. Select data store and enable thin disk mode and click next. At configure network settings screen, fully qualified domain name enter vcsa.plaza.local IP address 192.168.1.30 Subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Default gateway 192.168.1.1 DNS server 192.168.1.4 Then click next And finished After stage 1 and 2 installation Configure vCenter server Time synchronization mode Select Synchronize Time with ESXi Host, then Enable SSH Access. Select Create a new SSO domain, single sign-on domain name, enter vSphere.local. Enter your administrator password. And click Next. Unchecked. Join the VMware's Customer Experience Improvement Program, click Next, and Finish. Read the warning and click OK. Once successful setting up vCenter server, click on the website https colon forward forward slash vcsa.plaza.local colon 443 Before logging into the vCenter server, download and install the Trusted Root Certificate of Authority Certificate. Once logged in, create Plaza Data Center. Admin and test clusters. Add ESXi 70H1 host to admin cluster.
and ESXi70H2 to test cluster. Shown on the screen, no data store has been configured because you need to allocate more than 120GB on your boot storage to automatically create data store. I only allocated 100GB. On my next video, I'll install the ESXi patches manually so you don't need to migrate vCenter server appliance. <laughs> 